So hey guys, if you want to know how to create a table using Adobe Illustrator, then go you know, on the right place. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe. So first thing, you to nurture a table. Okay, we draw a rectangle or a square, depending on your size. So me, this is a receipt book, cash cell. To make sure apple, you make sure this square is highlighted. You click on any line here. When it's highlighted, you go to object, path, then split into grid. To fix apple, make sure this one, you click a preview. After you will find this dialog box, click preview to see how your table will appear after you make a change. So example, to increase the number of rows to be 2, you can see right here it increases, 3 increases, 4 increases. The same way we will do with columns. Increase the number of columns to be 2, 2 columns, 3 columns, 4 columns. So, and or you can also increase the height of the rows. The height of the rows is from it's from uh, this point to this point or this point to this point. So, whenever you decrease it, you can see, okay, sorry guys, this is column. So, this is the row height. Whenever you decrease it, you can see it decreases and it increases to the default location. So let's assume I want to put uh, the number of rows to be 20 and the number of columns to be 5. And if you click OK. Now, this is our table, guys. OK. Using this process, this method one of using path and splitting it to grid, it can advantage more. The good advantage you did is you can separate each cell control z you can separate uh, like that like that like that okay control z like that oh sorry guys make sure okay like that i light it again like those three objects oh sorry guys uh, like that you can split and you can uh, draw your table when you attack. Okay, let me go back to default. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. So, assumingly, I want to create a, 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 a receipt book. So, and here I'll be using a quantity example. Let's change this to the normal. So, I may not have to me a quantity and I'll bring this press a shift flat shift and drag it to this then and then um, press alt to copy to duplicate it alt to duplicate it and press a uh, control uh, plus control plus plus so assumingly Let's check this. Highlight this all of it. You can highlight it and move it away. You see, guys? Highlight this another one, all of it. You can highlight it and move it. Highlight it, this and uh, move. Okay. After you let's move very keen to do, you must place it on. Uh, Guys, you must be very keen here. Place it right here and move it there. Thank you. Let's move it to this other side. So, I want us to have only three rows. Let me delete this one. Set to here. Put a rotatu. Okay, rotatu. I'll uh, I like this one and I will drag it to this side. And then I will highlight this one and I will extend the lines and I will uh, bring this to the center 
and rename it to description. And I name this to cash to cents or shillings. Shillings. And you have to make sure it's in line. So you just have to select all of these columns and adjust it. Okay. Yeah, and just it to be like there. I think it's good. So guys, this is the first process how you can create tables. And uh, okay, to my preference, we now prefer to create table using uh, this method. So and I'm going to show you the second method. Now the second method kuja in here to this rectangular grid long press okay some people my some uh, sites okay some uh, some of uh, uh, how do I call it okay you might find your Adobe in this line segment tool you long press it and uh, select grid tool then you press shift and uh, bring it up oh this is your table this is a second process okay the table is not good looking but there's another process you can do it let's delete this one and you just click here and uh, click on your artboard it brings such um it brings this dialog box so what you will do will just adjust this queue to okay let's say zero percent you place it at zero percent that's okay now you have your table now your table is looking uniform and uh, you can of course okay this is a grouped table by default this is a group table when you click it it's group you can press ctrl g or right click your mouse and ungroup this table when you ungroup this table you can see each cell because each cell when you click on each cell okay let's highlight this cell you can uh, move you can of course move this outer grid you can see you can of course uh, again move this this grid line you see yes and uh, the just a work according to your preference of course now um, thank you guys please this my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you Fuck it.